Nuclear Family is a three-part documentary series on HBO that tells the story of my known sperm donor suing my lesbian moms for me when I was nine years old. Hi, I'm Gabriella Herman. I'm a photographer in Brooklyn, and I'm author of the book, The Kids, which is a photo essays of children who have LGBTQ parents. I'm here with Rai Russo Young, and Rai and her sister Cade were one of the subjects of my book. I always describe my parents as Juliet and Juliet. Like they described the moment they met. It was immediate. Gabon. Kaboom. We wanted gay men as donors. No rights, no responsibilities. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about what that experience was like being raised by two moms and how that sort of helped shape your identity. In some ways, having a lesbian family was extremely normal because my family was actually a nuclear family. I had two moms, I had a sister, we had dinner every night. We were very routine. In another way, it was unusual, I suppose, because in some ways we were constantly having to explain our family. People used to get really angry at us if we wouldn't answer questions. People would say, oh, whose is she? And we would say, both of ours. And they'd say, no, really, I mean, really, which one is the mother? And we'd say, we both are. Yes, it's telling my specific family story, but it's also telling the history of gay families. We were creating a new world of gay liberation. Your parents were part of that. Nuclear Family sort of covers your whole life, which is, you know, 40 years of fighting for gay family rights. Just wondering what you learned sort of about the history of gay family rights or what was like most surprising to you in sort of that research. I was just shocked at how, how few options lesbians had to have children. And it made sense, therefore, that my moms went through this very specific renegade DIY process. We used an artichoke hearts jar. You know the artichoke hearts you buy in a little jar? <laughs> Insert it. <laughs> the other thing I was really surprised at is just how far we've come. And the film also showed me how far we still have to come. It was unheard of for a family like yours to be fighting a paternity lawsuit. What's something that like wasn't in the movie that you wish had been now? There were certainly parts of the movie that we tried to put in. My name is Tara Yule, and I'm your half-sister. Tom had a daughter when he was in high school. He had a girlfriend when he was straight in high school. She got pregnant. They were both from Catholic families. That child was put up for adoption and had an entire life where she was looking for Tom and found him right after the lawsuit a year before he died. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Were you thrilled to find him? Mm-hmm. For sure. But I was a little bit irritated, you know, that he was so sick and I could have seen him and known him for longer. I felt like, how could we not include this in the film? It's so interesting. But ultimately, it felt too adjacent to the narrative, it felt like too much of a detour. Right? What happened between us? There's always two sides to any story. Maybe you've only heard one. I wanted to talk a little bit about Tom when he made the video for you. Sort of there's a little bit of it that was in the film, but I feel like there's more of like sort of Tom's case that we didn't get to see. More of the video, he was arguing his side of the lawsuit. So we used as much of the video as we could that would share Tom's inner life. Chris actually said this to me, that in some ways he was obsessed with his work and his work was the law, and the law was how he solved problems. I relate to that in that I'm a little obsessed with filmmaking, and filmmaking is how I solve problems. And so I think we actually share that. And when I heard that, it, it resonated with me because it made sense that like the law was what he would go to when he had a problem. Just felt like he was forgetting our promises to each other and what this was all about. It wouldn't be the family we wanted, we planned, we struggled for. Do you feel like that you have some closure now with this? For so many years, I felt like my relationship to my sperm donor was this black hole that I just couldn't access and I couldn't figure out. And I do feel like I've opened that door and I've walked through it and it's a relief. I 
think that the series really does tap into these more universal themes. Loyalty, love, loss, pain, and is universal to all families.